Find some shade, Hamilton. Hamilton? I'm back here, Beast. I found some shade. Shade? Make room for me. Wait a minute. Where'd the shade go? Oh. Hey, you two. Look what I've got. It's a snow globe. Wow. A snow globe. Look, there's a snowman inside. That must be his home in there. He sure looks happy. And cool. Oh, but just wait. He likes it even better when you do this. Great googly moogly. Look at that. It's snowing. It sure is. Isn't it pretty? No, I mean, it's really snowing. Wow. Oh, wait. Real it snow. It really is snowing. Can I try? Oh, let me have a shake. Ooh. Oops, sorry, Maggie. I didn't mean to make it snow that much. It's okay, Bees. It's just snow. It'll melt. You know what we can do with all this snow? We can make a snowman, just like the one in the globe. Good idea, Hamilton. A snowman! This will make a fine snowman head. How's the body coming, Beast? How's this? Is it big enough? Um, Beast, we're not making a snow giant. Just a snowman. We need something a little smaller. How's that? Perfect. I was going to make carrot soup with these today, but I guess it can wait. Oh, pick out a nice nose for him, Maggie. This one's nice. Not too big, not too pointy. Just right. Now he looks just like the snowman in the globe. <laughs> Excuse me, folks, but I seem to have lost my node. The snowman! He's talking. Uh, here's your nose back. Jolly good. That's much better. Thank you. My name is Mr. Shivers. Enchanted to make your acquaintance. Pardon me? So happy to meet you. You talk funny. Bees, that's not very nice. Well, he does. Sorry. My name is Maggie. These are my friends Hamilton and the ferocious beast. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Maggie, Mr. Hamilton, Mr. Beast. Mr. Hamilton. How very polite. Ah! Gesundheit. Well, thank you kindly. I do sneeze a lot. I always have a cold, you know, from being outside all the time. Then you should drink more orange juice and wear a scarf. Let me get you one. Jolly good, Mr. Hamilton. Jolly good? Jolly good. That's what I say when I like something, Mr. Beast. Good show, Mr. Hamilton. <sighs> Thank you. Uh-oh. Our snow is melting. And so am I. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Don't worry. 
cool things down in a jiffy. Uh, thank you, Miss Maggie. You're welcome, Mr. Shivers. But I don't think it's going to stay cool for very long. No. The oasis can be a hot place. Well, uh, are there any cold places around here I could go to? Let's see. Of course! Highest mountain! It snows there all the time. That's the perfect place for you, Mr. Shivers. Jolly good, Miss Maggie. Highest mountain it is. Gazintight. Oh, it's getting warm again, Miss Maggie. Thanks ever so much, Miss Maggie. Careful, Mr. Beast. If I fall into the river, I'll melt faster than you can say snowman soup. Don't worry, Mr. Shivers. He does this all the time. Don't you, Mr. Beast? Yes, yes. Jolly good, Miss Maggie. Good show, Mr. Beast. Top notch. Highest Mountain! Oh, a snowball a day keeps the melting away. I always say. <sighs> oh, at last! <sighs> Jolly good! I couldn't think of a better place for me to be. Thank you, dear friends, for bringing me here. Here, Mr. Shivers. You can use it to make snow whenever you need to. Now you won't have to worry about melting when you come and visit us. You will come and visit us, won't you, Mr. Shivers? I certainly will, Mr. Beast. And you'll always know when I'm coming. We will? How? Why... When it snows, of course! Jolly good! Nap time! I'll race you to the top! <laughs> now I'll race you to the bottom. Huh? Come on, you lazy bones. It'll be easier going down. Great googly moogly, Maggie. We've been running around all day. Aren't you tired? Maybe a little. <sighs> oh, I, I could really use a nap right now. But it's the middle of the afternoon. That's the best time for a nap. Oh, I can't play anymore until I have a little nap. Please? Okay, it's nap time. Hmm. Hamilton, are you asleep? No. Shh. I need a glass of water before I can sleep. I'll get it for you. Why, thank you, Maggie. Ah. Do you want a drink too, Beast? Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you. It wasn't me, it was the straw. <sighs> mm. 
I need my blanket. But it's not cold. I know, but I just feel better when I have it. It's in Hamilton's box. Somewhere in Hamilton's box. That's where my blanket is. I need it to be comfy. <laughs> All right, I'll get it. Thank you, Hamilton. I really appreciate it. Are you asleep? <sighs> no, Beast, not yet. Well, just keep on trying. There. Are you comfy now? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Maggie, do you hear that? Hmm? Hear what? That's quite a snore. It's a ferocious snore. I can't sleep with all that noise. I've got an idea. Just the thing. Good idea, Maggie. Hamilton? Maggie? Hamilton! <gasps> Maggie! What? Why are you wearing earmuffs? Because you were snoring. Oh, it couldn't have been me. I don't snore. Hmm. Huh? But we heard you. It must have been someone else. But there's nobody else here. Never mind, Hamilton. Let's just go to sleep. Right. Shh. <sighs> I can't sleep. Neither can I. Me too, neither. That cloud looks like a flower. That one? No, it looks more like a pumpkin. That one there looks like a cow. In a boat. Oh, holding a flag. No, looks more like a pumpkin. How about that one, Beast? Let's see. That one's shaped kind of like a pumpkin. <laughs> you think they all look like pumpkins. You must be hungry. Actually, I am a little. That one there looks like a sheep. You're right, it does. Wait, that is a sheep. It is. And so is that one. And that one. They're all sheep. It's the dream sheep. They've come to help us fall asleep. How are they going to do that? Just listen. It's nice. It's nice, but it's not working. They're not making you sleepy. No. No, I'm wide awake. <sighs> so am I. Look. <sighs> They're putting themselves to sleep. <laughs> Poor things must be tired. Aww. Oh! Aren't they cute? Shh. Don't wake them up. Maggie, what'll we do? I can't get up. Shh. We'll have to stay here. East? East? Just try to fall asleep, Hamilton. Nighty night. Nighty night. <laughs> <laughs>
your hat is running away? Once I get going fast, it's hard for me to stop. It sure is windy today. That's why I'm staying all cozy inside my box. I don't like the wind. Oh, but the wind is good for lots of things, like flying a kite. I want to fly a kite. Can we fly a kite? But we don't have a kite. This book will show us how to make one. I want to make a kite. Can we make a kite? Of course we can. We just need a few things out of Hamilton's box. String, lots of it, a big piece of paper, tape, two long sticks, and a short one, and a pair of scissors. Hmm. Let's get started. What can I do? What can I do? <laughs> hmm. Okay. First, we have to tie these together. Can I do it? Can I do it? Can you tie knots? Sh sure I can. First make a loop. And then put the end around the back and through the loop. What do I do next again? You give the string to Maggie and let her tie the knots. It's okay, Beast. Your feet are just too ferociously big to tie knots. We'll find another job for you to do. Oh, let me cut the paper. Now be careful with these. Have any bigger scissors? Maybe I should do the cutting. <laughs> I know something you can do. What? What? Put your foot down on the end of this paper. Now what? Just stay like that while I cut. But this isn't doing anything. Sure it is. It's helping. But you could use a rock to do this. Do you want to help or not? I want to help. <sighs> now we have to take the paper to the sticks. Let me! Let me! Are you sure you can do this? Absolutely! We'll put the string on this. It'll be easier to hold. <laughs> It keeps sticking to me. Oh, beast. Maybe you should let Hamilton do the taping. I just want to help. You're helping, beast. Ta-da! Let's try it out at the top of the hill. It'll be really windy up there. Come on, Beast. You can hold the string. Thanks, Maggie. <gasps> My spots! Stop those spots! Catch them! Here they come! Oh, my spots are safe. Thank you. Thank you. Whew. Your spots sure can fly. Why don't you keep them in here? They can't get away now. Ready? Here it goes. Right. We forgot to make...
make a tail. We need a piece of string with little bows tied to it. But we don't have any bow ties. Let's look for something else to use instead. How about these? Marbles will be too hard to tie onto the string. Hmm. I guess a sandwich won't really work either, will it? Flowers might work. <sighs> I guess not. We need something heavier. How about this? A, a rock? rock? Yep. Beast, I think it's a little too heavy. It would drag the kite right down to the ground. We need something like these. Something light that the wind can blow up in the air. Great googly moogly. I know what we can use. Take one. Now bunch it up in the middle. <gasps> Beast, you are so smart. Tie them on tight. I don't want to lose any. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? <laughs> It's flying! It's a beautiful kite. You did a good job. So did you, Beast. I really didn't help that much. You helped a lot. We couldn't have done it without you, Beast. No, I guess you couldn't. I helped! <laughs> Here, Beast. Try it out. Wow! Look at it go! Look at my spots go! <laughs> 